Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, As-salatu was salamu ala Rasulil Kareem, Amma ba'ad, fa'audhu billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim, Bismillahirrahman al-rahim. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yasalli amri wa ahlul uqdatan min lisan min yaqahu qawli. Allahumma faqihna fi al-deen, ameen. Rabbi yasir wa la tu'asir wa tammin bil khayr. وَبِكَ نَسْتَعِينُ يَا فَتَّاهُ يَا فَتَّاهُ يَا فَتَّاهُ السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm also good. Today, after a long break, winter break, we are going to learn, we are going to continue learning Jumla Ismiya. And today's topic is a uh, complex sentence. So uh, we have a series of topic about uh, for complex sentence like Jumla Ismiya as a complex sentence. And today's uh, uh, subtopic is having a sentence as khabar in Jumla Ismiya. So when, uh, this is when in Jumla Ismiya khabar is uh, there in the form of a, another a sentence in the form of a sentence. So um, just uh, uh, I'm, I'm just going to uh, review what we did in last two uh, lessons. In lesson 44, we did uh, grammatical labeling of Jumla Ismiya. So le uh, macro level and mi micro level. In macro level, we an, uh, analyzed, uh, Jumla, uh, analyzed Jumla Ismiya uh, into three parts. Muptada, Khabar, Mutalik Bil Khabar. And in the second level uh, analysis, second level Tahleel, um, tahleel oh, we do uh, further uh, dissection, further um, Tahleel of these three portions. We see whether uh, Muptada is a single ism or uh, Muptada is in the form of a fragment or chain of fragment. And where is the mutalik bil khabar and whether mutalik bil khabar is also a chain of fragment or not. And uh, we also analyze khabar uh, with, um, and we see whether khabar is a single khabar or it, uh, um, there is a complex khabar. So uh, uh, in lesson 44, we did uh, grammatical labeling two level labeling, macro level and micro level. And then we did uh, uh, abnormal sentence structure in which we uh, we saw that their mutalib bil khabar can uh, come um, uh, in some in some sentences, mutalib bil khabar comes before, uh, before, even before wabtada. And sometimes mutalib bil khabar comes before uh, khabar. So uh, this thing we learn in uh, les lesson 45 and in today's lesson, uh, we are doing complex sentence. Uh, actually complex sentence uh, with a subtopic of uh, having a sentence as khabar in Jumla Ismiya. Before, uh, uh, before we go to the dream textbook, unit 5.6, so the, 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 unit, uh, the unit for this uh, topic is 5.6. So before we go to the dream book, let's uh, revise what we learned in uh, our lesson uh, 17.3. About four or five months ago in lesson 17.3, uh, we, uh, um, we learned type, uh, types of khabar. So khabar, which is the third, po third main uh, portion, main portion of Jumla Ismiya. And khabar is the information about the subject. Khabar is the information about the subject and uh, subject is the topic of the sentence, right? So there can, uh, Khabar can uh, be there in the form of a single, uh, single word, single word or a fragment. So uh, if there, uh, Khabar can be a Khabar Mufrad, like Talibun, uh, Hua Talibun. He is a student. So just one, uh, one word, uh, khabar. 
one word khabar, khabar mufrad. Okay. And uh, you can see that hua is uh, rafa, independent pronoun, the uh, munfasil, and it is proper also because all the uh, mayar are proper. But the khabar is, khabar is nakira. Here again, you can see th these are examples of muf uh, mufrat khabar. So we are, um, there can be a single word khabar, there can be uh, khabar uh, coming as jumla ismiya and khabar uh, coming as jumla failia. So th these three types can be there. Uh, now the example, uh, simple khabar, khabar mufrat, example, hua talibun. So this is one uh, single word, talibun, uh, which is coming as khabar. Here, antum muslimuna, uh, you are you are all Muslims. So Muslimuna is the khabar, right? One word. Muhammadun Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So uh, Muhammadun Muqtada and Rasulullah again say a mufrat khabar but in the form of a fragment, idafa fragment, right? And then we have uh, uh, inna in the uh, half of Nasr and Zalzalata is more in the Mansub. Zalzalata Sa'ati is fra uh, fragment, mm, like Idafa fragment. Zalzalata light, no alif lam, a Sa'ati mudafile. So a chain, this, this is Muqtada, but I'm, I'm labeling only Khabar. So this is Muqtada, but and Khabar is Shai'un Azimun, Masuf Sifa fragment, right? So this is also Khabar Mufrat, Shayun Azimun. Now, uh, the second type, uh, second type, the Khabar can be there in a Jumla Ismiya in the form of another Jumla Ismiya. Look how. Ulaika is what? Ulaika here is Ismi Shara and it is Rafa here because it's coming as Muqtada. And then again, we have a uh, independent pronoun, humul muflihun. So we can label as th this thing as khabar, and this is again another jumla ismiya. So ulaika humul muflihun. This uh, this is muftada, and humul muflihun. I, another sentence, humul muflihun, humul muflihun is itself a jumla ismiya, complete jumla ismiya. Hum muptada and al muflihuna khabar. But this, uh, this is jumla ismiya coming as khabar. So this is khabar. The same way, in Allah wa razaku. So, huwa razaku is coming as khabar. And huwa razaku itself is a jumla ismiya. The same way, inna hu, inna, inna harf, uh, harf of nasul, hu uh, ismu inna, mansub. And huwa samiul alim is a complete sentence coming as khabar. Okay? So, jum, uh, in a jumla ismiya, Khabar can be there in the form of another Jumla Ismiya. Okay. Let me clear all and coming to the third type. In a Jumla Ismiya, Khabar can be in the form of a Jumla Failia. Jumla Failia. We haven't done Jumla Failia yet, but we did uh, Fele Madi and Fele Mudare. So you know uh, how uh, they are. Um, inna again half of nasab and na the mir mutasil uh, mansub ismo inna N then anzal nahu an anzal nahu anzal is felimadi na is uh, file who uh, mafulun bihi right so anzalna is a fail so from here from here to here is jumla failure Anza, anzala uh, felimadi na uh, file 
than who uh, mafulun bihi fi lailatil qadr mutalib bil fail. We haven't done jumla failure yet, but I'm just telling you that this jumla failure is coming as khabar of inna here. Okay? This jumla, so uh, overall from here to here, from here to here is jumla ismiya. But within this jumla ismiya, we have a jumla failure as khabar. Khabar in the form of jumla failure. Uh, again, we have another example. In Allah, la yukhliful miyad. So, inna, half of nasab, Allah, Allah, ismi jalala, uh, mubtada, okay, mubtada, this is mubtada, and la yukhliful miyad, yukhlifu is fail uh, mudare, marfu biddamma, right? So, la yukhliful miyad is a, mm, sorry, is a jumla failure and it is coming as khabar. Coming as khabar. So, uh, so far, so good. On this slide, we, uh, we just revised the three types of khabar that we did in lesson 17.3. And khabar can be there uh, as a khabar mufrat, simple khabar. Khabar can be in the form of jumla ismiya, like another sentence within a sentence that's why it is complex it becomes a complex sentence that's why it becomes a complex sentence uh jumla ismiya coming as a khabar of another jumla ismiya so that's why it's a complex sentence now these are complex sentences So, and the third type in which uh, Jumla failure comes as the khabar of the uh, Jumla ismiya is also example of complex sentence. Okay, if you have any question, you can ask me in the interactive session. Let's go to the next slide. Uh, the, uh, we just did the uh, three, uh, three different uh, forms of khabar that can be there. Uh, another another thing that we already learned is uh, there can be a condition in which khabar is absent at altogether. Khabar is mahzoof. And uh, the MBK takes place of MBK, mutalik bil khabar, is there in the beginning of the sentence. And mutalik bil khabar can, uh, is there uh, uh, in the place of Mahzoof uh, khabar. Okay. This thing we also did uh, in the previous lessons. Now, this slide uh, we did when um, we did unusual sentence structure. So, usual sentence structure is Muqtada, Khabar, Mutalib, Bil Khabar. Just recall the usual sequence is Muqtada, Khabar, Mutalib, Bil Khabar. And uh, there can be a uh, um, other unusual sequences, uh, unusual uh, sentence structure can be there when mutalib bil khabar comes before khabar, uh, one case, and another case when mutalib bil khabar comes even before mubtada. So mutalib bil khabar muqaddam and khabar mahzoof and mubtada is mokhar. So the, the, this thing we did in lessons 46, just uh, the revision. Okay. Today's topic is what we are looking at uh, this khabar. So focusing and uh, zooming in for khabar. So what is khabar? Uh, like um, in a jumla ismiya, uh, khabar is coming in what form? Whether it's a, a sim sing uh, single ism or uh, a ism in the form of a fragment or or uh, we are looking uh, looking at if there uh, there uh, if there is any sentence coming as the khabar of jumla ismiya so that's our today's topic that's why the jumla ismiya becomes 
a complex sentence. Now, the dream, uh, dream book. So in uh, complex sentences, having a sentence as a hover. Recall our discussion about sentence level and fragment level uh, labels are macro and micro era, right? So we all, we all already did this in uh, um, lessons 46. And when we do the level one um, uh, analysis, level one uh, era, then possibilities are limited. Limited in the sense that there are only three lab uh, labels. Muptada, Khabar, Mutalib al Khabar. But when we analyze the contents of these buckets, contents of these three main parts, three main parts of Jumla Ismiya, Muptada, Khabar, Mutalib bil Khabar, when we analyze the contents of the, uh, these main parts, then the possibilities are diverse. Muptada can be in the form of a single ism or it can be a fragment or a chain of fragment, right? And khabar, uh, khabar is unique in uh, uh, the khabar bucket or the khabar is a special and different than the other two buckets in the sense that it can hold a full sentence within it. Muptada cannot be in the uh, form of full sentence, but khabar can be. So it can hold a full sentence within it. It can vary both. Like it can be in the form of jumla ismiya or jumla figlia. We just saw uh, the types of khabar on the, on the previous slide, right? So the, this is the example. Hada. Huwal haqqu. Haza is muqtada and huwal haqqu, it is the truth. Huwal haqqu, it is the truth. So huwal haqqu itself is a uh, jumla ismiya. Huwa muqtada al haqqu khabar. So haza huwal haqqu, jumla ismiya. And huwal haqqu is coming as the khabar of haza. Now, the second example, inna ka. Inna, harf, uh, harf of nasab, ka, damir muttasir. Uh, let me take the marker and, okay. So, inna is harf of nasab. Ka is damir muttasir, which is ismu inna. Ismu inna. And so this is Muptada. This is Muptada. But the, uh, in parenthesis, Anta Alamul Guyub. You are the knower of the unseen. So Anta Alamul Guyub itself is a sentence. Jumla Ismiya. How? Anta is again Muptada. Right? Anta is Muptada. Alamul Guyub is. Khabar, right? Alamul Guyub is Khabar. So, this uh, 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 here, Ajumla Ismiya, is coming as the Khabar of uh, Khabar in another Jumla Ismiya. So far, so good. If you have a question or any query, you can ask me uh, during. Uh, interactive session, okay? So in the in these examples, like Haza huwa al haqqu and inna ka anta allam al In these two examples, uh, there are two tiers of sentence level labeling. Like in one tier, we uh, we did that haza is muqtada, huwa al haqqu is khabar. So level one. Now we are looking what is within the khabar. Within the khabar, we have a level two analysis. Within the khabar uh, bucket, we have another sentence, right? 
the, the same way. In Naka is Muptada and Anta Alamul Ghuyub is Khabar. Level 1 labeling. Level 1 dissection. Second uh, second level is in, uh, in Muptada we have half of Nas fragment. Inna plus Ka is Mu Inna. And in the Khabar bucket we have a full sentence. Another Jumla Ismiya. Muptada and Khabar. So this is level 2 analysis or le uh, micro level uh, Arab. So this is how uh, we do the analysis of uh, Jumla Ismiya when, uh, um, when we see another sentence coming as the, another Jumla Ismiya coming as the cover of uh, the, um, a bigger Jumla Ismiya, okay? So this is the, uh, this is the exercise. Uh, let's do the exercise. Only three are there and we are going to do it again in the interactive se session. Inna hum humus sufahau. So inna, let's uh, color it with the Muptada blue in the home. Half of Nasab and its ism. Muptada, then Humus Sufahau is Khabar. And within this Humus Sufahau, we have Muptada and Khabar. So this is Jumla Ismiya coming as the Khabar of. Inna hum. The same way over here, inna haza. Inna haza is half of nas fragment, right? Mubtada. Inna half of nas haza is mu inna. Lahual qasasul haku is is the khabar of in khabar of inna. And this la that is coming is lam of emphasis. In this case, it is called a uh, lam muzahalaka. Uh, so, inshallah, we'll uh, learn about this lam later. But this lam is comes uh, on the khabar of inna. Okay. So this lam is a uh, lam of emphasis, and hua is hua is mubtada. In the uh, in this sentence, in uh, the, this smaller uh, sent uh, jumla ismiya, huwa is muqtada al qasasul haku is khabar of huwa, and this whole jumla ismiya is come uh, is there as the khabar of inna. Okay. Now uh, the next one here wow is uh, atfa. Ulaika is Muptada. Muptada, we are going to color it with blue. Ulaika is Muptada. And Hum Vakudun Nari is the Khabar of Ulaika. And within this sentence, we have Hum as Muptada and Vakudun Nari Khabar. Okay? So that's how. Uh, we are going to analyze and uh, do the Arab of a complex sentence. Okay. Uh, let me clear this and see what's next. The same ex exercise on the same page. And these are some examples. And we are going to do, uh, these are examples with simple cover. And then we have Further examples, we are going to analyze these uh, in the interactive session. Okay. So that's the end of uh, today's session. Inshallah, uh, see you in, in the next lesson, lesson 40, uh, 48. So till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك